Hey guys, Jason, Iron Trap Garage, bringing you another episode on my 32 truck build. Uh, you guys saw in the last episode, I was working on cab mounts and B-pillar repairs, so that way we could take the next step forward with that. So uh, right now I've decided that I'm gonna be working on the firewall next, and I'll be reusing, or trying to reuse the stock firewall, which is right here. I must say, look at that nice, black paint excellent condition firewall would never thought it would have come with this truck just looking off you know uh, comparing the two uh, so I'm going to take some measurements here in a second uh, get my bearings and uh, pull the motor and trans out and go ahead and see about lining things up cutting things making things work so uh, hopefully you guys aren't upset by me cutting into a perfectly good firewall but I can blame Pete for that one. And uh, so let's get started. So try to get a reference point from uh, top of the firewall or close enough to uh, the distributor area down. And nine and a half inches All right, so I have like super rough measurements here. Uh, probably gonna need more, but this is I think what's gonna be good enough for me. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get this yanked out now. Well, I just wanted to show you guys real quick the feet. I had uh, drilled them out and this foot's actually in excellent shape. So this can get reused on another project. Um, but there's four rivets here. That, in the last clip you saw that I drilled out and then there's four here. If anyone's doing this, be careful because you're gonna have to actually, uh, that's a spot weld. So you're gonna have to take care of that because otherwise this will not come off. With that being said, firewall can now kind of go in. I ran into the next problem, which is I'm going to have to notch on both sides, cut out so then that this way this firewall can then come down. All right guys, here is the firewall with the feet taken off, sitting in place. And uh, just so you guys can see, I had to notch 
get in there notch the bottom of the firewall a little bit not terribly too much and i had to take these off on the bottom of the cowl which i did off camera because uh, this was holding it from going in further so now that i have these clamped in place it's tight so now i'm going to be able to make new feet for the bottom to attach it and just to show you where it's sitting good that bolt's falling in and out perfect so this is where the firewall is going to sit i just have to make feet for it and then i'll be able to take the next step and that will be go ahead and uh, probably end up making pie cuts here and here and recessing the firewall back all right guys so i went ahead and made a uh, cardboard template here of what i need to do for the for the feet uh, obviously uh, these brackets aren't going to work being the fact that this truck's channel now so uh thought of something really easy I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here it's a simple pattern tuck it up and in and i'll basically want to sit in here i will try my best to reuse the factory uh, rivet areas and for the meantime they can just get bolted up that's not a big deal All right guys, so I went ahead and made a new foot for the cow, which this used to be the original one. As you can see, uh, the original ones are spot welded, or excuse me, they're riveted here and here, but they also have, uh, it's hard to tell, but there's actually two spot rivets that hold this to the cow. So I was struggling for a while, wondering why it wouldn't come off, and that's why I took the reciprocating saw and sliced it down here and long and behold it came off but anyways as you can tell with the original firewall foot this is uh indented here and that fits in perfect uh this is the new firewall uh, foot that i've made out of the eighth inch plate steel and um i am not obviously duplicating this exactly uh being that it's channeled but this indent is not here on this one so uh this cow foot is going to actually just sit near it which i won't have to worry about because that's for clearance issues um, the way that this actually wraps around on the uh, inside of the cow foot or excuse me on the inside of the cow uh, again so this is just going to simply go in place and attach the cow i'll uh, probably end up tapping it and just using a uh, machine screw to hold it in place and then this one i'm going to try to uh, reuse the existing rivet holes that uh, I ground down so that way it's already there I just got to mark it and then drill it so this side's done uh, I just have to duplicate this other foot and I should be able to get this thing uh, securely mounted in place so then I can begin to uh, notch it for the engine
right, so now here comes the uh, moment of truth. Go ahead and uh, try to get this thing in here. And so now that the feet on the firewall are done and the little brackets I made to hold the cowl in place, this is what has to come out approximately. Uh, I'm going to make a slice here and come up here and make a slice. Cut in here. I'm going to try to bend this firewall so this is straight up and down like up here and make this cut and then hopefully she'll fit. So, engine's back in place, which is great, and firewall's there. So I end up having to make a second cut uh, to get this to sit in place. Uh, when we put it in, we were having issues of uh, clearancing from the oil filter housing area and also more or less the cylinder heads uh, just from doing a, a second measurement, uh, which again, not a big deal. I uh, Put a little piece of sheet metal with some Clecos just to hold the two pieces together uh, just for obviously the time being because I'm going to have to uh, make some filler pieces out of sheet metal which I don't have any sheet metal so I'm going to have to get sheet metal and uh, make some filler pieces in there and you know get this thing 100% buttoned up but uh, big steps forward I can't be dwindling uh, or worrying about the small stuff uh, I got a whole truck to build here so uh, Real straightforward on this one this time, uh, which was nice. Able to get the uh, the feet made and the brackets uh, using the old frame. Uh, used them on the cow itself. Uh, pretty much it. I got about a quarter inch of gap from the back of the distributor to the uh, bead, the peak of the bead on the firewall, which is really nice. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't have to manipulate that in any which way because that would have really been a pain come time to uh, do all the finish welding and things like that on this firewall uh, so yeah probably like I spoke about last time was working on the radiator and the grill mount which I will probably end up doing next now that this is done it's one less piece sitting over there so I'll grab uh, the radiator and uh, the grill next time make brackets on that so I can get that all situated in which was nice so this is a big step forward for me uh, let me know in the comments what you think uh, like I said at first I was really nervous about cutting into the uh, firewall but once you got that first cut in there it's not a big deal 
Uh, and the other thing is nice is it is original to the truck, so I'm reusing parts. Um, so that's all that I have for this video today, guys. See you around for the next one. Take it easy.